Welcome to Google Developers Weekly for September 4th, 2013, our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google developers on the set and off. Before the Labor Day holiday here in the United States, we had a big week in our studios. So let's shake those cobwebs off of our three-day weekend, get back to work, and go to those highlights. It's one thing to know how to code, but it's quite another to take that leap and start your own company based on one of your many brilliant ideas. Our good friends Martin Omander and Don Dodge helped us out with a pair of shows from Root Access, covering how startups can incorporate and get funded. So you can go from having a great idea to affording to eat in between all those all-nighters. Once you've started that company and are building that incredible app, you want to make sure it looks good and feels just right. That's why we brought in our dev UX team, led by Nazmul, and they spoke to us on how to be thinking about great design when creating new applications. This week, they also showed us how to invite the world to your application through adding social integration through many social networks. Also, as I said last week, the best shows are made into trilogies. I was lucky to have Chicago's own Brian Fitzpatrick and Mountain View for three high-quality events to help you take control of your career and of your data. We started with everybody's favorite, organizational manipulation. We joined the data liberation front, and we wrapped with a deep dive into Google's transparency report. Fitz week might be over, but the memories live on in YouTube and on the Google Developers Live website. Here at GDL, when we're not watching YouTube, you might find us catching up on the day's news with CNN. Resident glass guy Timothy Jordan hosted Jeff Eddings of CNN to talk about the network's glass app. Timothy also taught the rest of us about some cool new options for commanding glass with your voice, including integrations with social network Path and Evernote. OK, Glass, send my information to Path. Well beyond our Mountain View campus from Tel Aviv, Ido Green taught us how to debug Node.js applications using Chrome DevTools. Alberto Rossi in Milan showed us how to build Android apps with HTML5 and JavaScript. And from Buenos Aires, Nick Bortolotti presented on Google Plus sign-in. Live from New York, it was the AppScript team taking your questions in another edition of Google Apps Unscripted, while Ibrahim Ulukaya partnered up with Roman Nurek to tackle best practices from the YouTube APIs on Android and Android design. Our users and developers span the globe, so our studios and engineers do too. Away from our Google Developers Live studios, the GDGX team of talented engineers has produced a new Google Developer Groups app for Android devices. This app provides direct access to your favorite GDL shows, along with news and information about your local GDG, and even achievements that you can unlock. That's not just GDGX, that's GDG Extreme. Promises have come to Chrome. In the HTML document object model, a promise provides asynchronous access to the result of an operation, whether it already took place or not. Francois Bufert posted about how promises come true in Chrome 30 beta. We've come a long way. And Android developers, Android Studio marches on. The team has released version 0.2.6, with various bug fixes to smooth your work. Be sure to update your Android Studio to take advantage of the latest. And to make sure you take advantage of the latest and never miss a thing from the world of Google developers, subscribe to Google Developers on YouTube and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you in the studio.